Hey there, everyone. Pastor Tim here from the church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Sunday edition, the Lord's Day edition. And um, thank you for joining me once again. We are in Exodus chapter 12. And we have come to the uh, section of scripture in the Old Testament that is arguably the most important passage for the children of Israel. And in a long-term sense, vitally important for believers in Jesus. I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, we've gone through all of the plagues with the exception of the final one. And here's what God tells us in Exodus chapter 12, beginning at verse one. <clears throat> While the Israelites were still in the land of Egypt, the Lord gave the following instructions to Moses and Aaron. From now on, this month will be the first month of the year for you. Announce to the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each family must choose a lamb or a young goat for a sacrifice, one animal for each household. If a family is too small to eat a whole animal, let them share with another family in the neighborhood. Divide the animal according to the size of each family and how much they can eat. The animal you select must be a one-year-old male, either a sheep or a goat with no defects. Take special care of this chosen animal until the evening of the 14th day of this first month. Then the whole assembly of the community of Israel must slaughter their lamb or young goat at twilight. <clears throat> they are to take some of the blood and smear it on the sides and the top of the door frames of the houses where they eat the animal. That same night, they must roast the meat over a fire and eat it along with bitter salad greens and bread made without yeast. Do not eat any of the raw meat, any of the meat raw or boiled in water. The whole animal, including the head, legs, and internal organs, must be roasted over a fire. Do not leave any of it until the next morning. Burn whatever is not eaten before morning. These are your instructions for eating, eating this meal. Be fully dressed, wear your sandals, and carry your walking stick in your hand. Eat the meal with urgency, for this is the Lord's Passover. On that night, I will pass through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn son and firstborn male animal in the land of Egypt. I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, for I am the Lord. But the blood on your doorposts will serve as a sign, marking the houses where you are staying. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. This plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt. So this is the installation, if you will, of the Passover meal, the Passover celebration that the children of Israel still celebrate to this day. And it, it has an incredible impact and um, meaning to the children of Israel. But as we have discussed, it also has meaning for us, not just because Jesus was Jewish, Jesus celebrated the Passover, but because what the children of Israel were instructed to do, Jesus came and totally fulfilled the Passover. It's no coincidence that on the night that he was betrayed, the night that he was arrested, before he would be um, executed, hung on a cross, dying for our sins, that Jesus ate the Passover meal with his disciples. They knew what that meant. And it was a transition time. What Jesus did and was saying to them is that this is the final time that the Passover meal, as you know it, will need to be celebrated. Because the lamb that was slain and the blood put <clears throat> on the door post of the houses had to be redone. But now the true lamb of God had come 
and his blood would be placed over our lives once and for all. So while we celebrate today as we gather in churches around the world to worship is the true Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. May we all remember that today as we gather to worship. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you for the Passover lamb. Thank you for the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Jesus, our Messiah, our Redeemer. We thank you, Father, that you did that for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, have a wonderful Lord's Day. I invite you to join us at West Shore today at 11 o'clock. As we kick off our brand new teaching series, God Is, we're going to look at the attributes of God, reminding ourselves of who God is. Join us if you can. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.